Xbox Game Pass is the best thing that's ever happened to the gaming industry. You know, when I was a kid, I played a lot of different types of games. And the biggest reason for that was a place the younger audience might not know called Blockbuster, which allowed you to rent movies and games at a whim. And one of my favorite things every single weekend after I got off school was I would go down with my friends to Blockbuster, we'd find a new game that we all wanted to try out, and we'd bring it home and play it on my Xbox or my PlayStation before that, and it was so fun to just enjoy new and awesome experiences that I never would have seen otherwise every single weekend. And you know, as I've grown older, and as I've started to get a job and a girlfriend and had more responsibilities, I've had less and less time to try out new games. In college, I only bought a game when the reviews were high and in my little bit of free time, I'd be able to complete it. Before that, in high school, I exclusively started playing games like Call of Duty, Halo, and Dota 2 on my computer. And my catalog of games really started to dwindle compared to what I used to do as a kid. Blockbuster was killed off by Netflix, and that meant no more going in and renting movies. But more importantly for me, that meant no more going in and renting games. That huge catalog that I was privy to as a child was gone. But the funny thing is now, now that I'm older and I just got the new Xbox Series X, and Game Pass on my PC and Xbox, I'm finally feeling like a kid again. For so many years, in a lot of ways, I forgot what made games so fun for me as a kid. You know, I kind of stopped playing games a lot when I was in college, and I've picked it up a lot for Twitch streaming recently in the past couple of years, but I have never really felt that love and passion for the industry that I used to have as a kid until recently, because ever since I got Game Pass for my PC and my Xbox, I've been playing hundreds of games and experiencing new experiences that I never thought about before. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I would go to Blockbuster and with my friends for 10 minutes, we would look up and down the aisle and trying to find the coolest looking game. I would bring that home and whether or not it was good or bad, I was constantly having fun. And that's exactly what's happening with me and Game Pass right now. You know, just this last weekend, I opened up the Game Pass catalog and I scrolled for just like Blockbuster about 10 minutes and found a game I wanted to play. This time it was Outriders and it's turned out to be my favorite looter shooter ever. And it's experiences like this that are enabled by a service like Game Pass that truly shows how important and impactful it's going to be on the industry. Just to name a few, I've been able to play games like Prey, Control, Oblivion, Rage 2, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Sunset Overdrive, so many different games that I either played before or never got to experience. And the fact that I can just download them without having to pull out my credit card again and enjoy them and also leave quickly if I'm not is what makes this service so revolutionary and why it's going to completely and fundamentally change how we play games for the better. And I don't think people realize just how great Xbox Game Pass really is. I know for the hardcore audience, those being Reddit threads and IGN and Game Informer, everyone's talking about the Xbox brand and how awesome the service is. But for a lot of casual consumers, they still don't understand how amazing it is. You know, I have friends that are getting a PlayStation 5 and they're just going to be playing Call of Duty and maybe Battlefield. But what people don't understand in the casual audience is how much fun Game Pass can be even for someone that doesn't enjoy games. If you're someone that only plays Call of Duty once every year, well, getting Game Pass might allow you eventually in the future to one, get Call of Duty if they make a deal, but more importantly, find games you otherwise wouldn't have played and find experiences that you will love and cherish forever. It's the exact same situation I had as a kid, 
going to Blockbuster every weekend and finding amazing games. I remember I played a game called Cameo by Rare back in the day, and I loved it as a kid, but I never would have bought that. I didn't even know the game existed, but going into the store and seeing the box art got me enticed and I ended up loving the game. And that's exactly what Game Pass does for the consumer. It allows you to find a catalog of hundreds to thousands of high quality and curated titles that many different genres encapsulate and many different people will love. And even more than that, it's the implications of the service and what they will do to the industry that's even more exciting. I think one of the biggest things that no one is talking about is how get Xbox Game Pass is going to promote better games. But what do I mean by that? Well, when I've been playing games on Game Pass, something I noticed and something that isn't being talked about that I absolutely love is that not only is it saving me money, not only am I only paying $15 a month to play hundreds of games, but more importantly, it's saving me time. You see, usually when I buy a game, I spend that full 60 and now $70 price tag, and whether or not I'm enjoying it in the first 30 minutes to two hours, I keep trugging through. You know, I didn't enjoy the new Call of Duty game that much, but I ended up playing 10 to 20 hours because, well, I spent $60 on it. And I know it's a sunk cost fallacy. There's no point in playing a game you've already wasted money on if you aren't enjoying it. But there is something to be said that if you're going to be spending large sums of money on every game you're playing, you want to put some time and effort into it. Even if you're not enjoying it at the time, you might enjoy it later. But that's why Game Pass is so crucial to the future of the industry. Games nowadays are going to have to be good. You're not going to be able to get by with a mediocre sale and just hope people keep playing because they already bought it. When I play games on Game Pass, if I don't enjoy them in the first 30 minutes, I just go away. I uninstall the game, I forget about it, and I don't feel bad because really I'm not spending any extra money to play this game. A good example of this is when I was playing Oblivion, I loved the game as a kid, but it was a little janky now and I got kind of bored after around an hour of it. And instead of saying, well, shoot, I just spent some money on this, maybe I'll keep giving it a shot, I said no. You know, I value my time, I value the game I'm playing in my free time, and I'm gonna go do something else. And that was such an amazing moment for me. It was something I couldn't even do back as a kid because, well, even though I could rent games at Blockbuster, I couldn't drive, so I couldn't just go drive and rent a new game if I wasn't enjoying the one I liked. I just kept playing it and hoped for the best. For the first time in my gaming career ever, the main priority when I'm gaming is having fun. I throw down $15 a month, and whether I want to play on my phone, a PC, my tablet, or my new console, all I'm worried about is having fun and being entertained. And isn't that the point of games after all? And not only that, but along with this service, it comes with so many other corresponding services that make the entire package so much better. For example, cross progression and cross play saves, meaning I can play on my PC on stream with you guys. And after I can carry over that cloud save on some games and go play on my Xbox right where I left off. With crossplay now being big in so many games, it doesn't matter if my friends are majority on PlayStation with the new Call of Duty, I can still play with them. When Battlefield comes out, I can still play with them. If I wanna play Fortnite, I can play with them. If I wanna play Apex or Outriders, I can play with them. It no longer matters that I have the same equipment as all the people I'm playing with either. The entire system is built around the player. You know, it's funny because the PlayStation tagline is around being built for the players. But more than any company in the gaming space right now, it's obvious that Xbox is focused on the player. For a small entry fee, you get entrance to a giant catalog of amazing games. You can play these games with people on other platforms. You can carry your saves over onto different devices. You can play however and wherever you want to play. Game Pass and the Xbox ecosystem is the future of gaming. And I think that's more than ever now obvious because of the hype around the service. You know, more than anything, more than anything I'll tell you in this video, 
the best way to understand how great Xbox Game Pass is, is to just buy it. Get the first month for $1 and you'll come back and realize why this is the future of the games industry. Knowing I'm going to get access on day one to games like Halo Infinite, Avowed, Fable, Perfect Dark, and tons of other Bethesda and first party studios that Xbox has is just icing on the cake. Because the real difference that Game Pass is making is that it's making me fall in love with, and more importantly, have fun with games again, just like when I was a kid. And more than any amount of money I've ever spent on any specific game, whether that be Prey, my favorite game of all time, or other certain series that I play with friends like Battlefield or Call of Duty, that $15 a month that I give to Microsoft to allow me to play wherever I want, with whoever I want, at high fidelity, in amazing experiences that save me time and money, it's something that's well spent. And there's no better example of this being the future of games than how other companies are responding. Just today, you saw PlayStation come out and announce that Horizon Zero Dawn would be coming to PS Now on the service for next month. They're adding a bunch of new first party games day in and day out, and you can see Amazon and Google showing rumblings of eventually getting back into the service game for the gaming industry. It goes to show that no matter what you think, whether or not you want to own every game that you have, and that meaning paying the full purchase price, which by the way, you can still do in the Xbox ecosystem, or whether or not you do or don't like Game Pass, it is the future. It brings back the thing that made gaming so great when I was a kid. The fun, the community, and just the hype being involved in the Xbox ecosystem has never been more fun. It feels like every single week there's some big news about a game or a service improvement that's coming to Xbox and the ecosystem. And that's going to continue to happen because Game Pass as a service only gets better the bigger it is. The more and more money they're making, the more they can spend on buying new acquisitions or getting new IP or getting new games first day on Game Pass. The service is quite literally the epitome of a long-term play. You know, for years, gaming was all about just buying a game, owning it, and having a good time. And that was great, but I'm so happy to see that we're going back to an industry where you can rent, you can try games, and it's all about just having fun by yourself or with friends. And more than any amount of money, I've ever spent in gaming. Game Pass has finally facilitated that. So thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. I love making a bunch of videos about Xbox and Game Pass and their future, as it's one of the most, if not the most exciting things in the gaming industry for myself and I'm sure a lot of other people. And if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a comment or a subscription or a like, and let me know if you wanna see more Xbox related content, as it's some of the best performing content on my channel and I love making it for you guys. And if you wanna to talk to me about topics like this live, go check me out at twitch.tv slash franklygaming. I stream there every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and I would love to talk with you guys about the gaming industry as a whole and the topics I discuss in my videos. But thank you so much for watching today. The support means a lot. I put a lot of work into this. So thank you very much guys, and I'll see you all next time.